Hi, I'll be a little brief because what my story is very similar to Dirk's and ditto, ditto, ditto on everyone with the excitement and enthusiasm that this group brings to Cleveland will be like nothing any of you have ever seen. I see a lot of friends here from the um, hotel community and uh, restaurant community and my staff over here and it's full speed ahead. Um, I went out to Cologne and helped with the presentation and helped behind the scenes. Actually, I met Doug maybe three years ago when he started with the volleyball um, organization, the National North Coast Athletic Volleyball um, Group, and um, developed that relationship. And he came to our office, one of the first stops, and um, told the story of what he his vision was for the games in Cleveland and Akron and it's very contagious and you'll see that today. Um, I then brought him in to introduce him to our president and vice president of sales and um, we were all on board. We've already supported the uh, Federation and the Cleveland Synergy Foundation with assistance from the site inspection here this summer, um, travel to Cologne and other in-kind services totaling about $60,000 and that was just <laughs> And that was just to have the opportunity to get this here. So now that it's here, we're working with our board to take it to the next level and um, looking forward to working with everyone. We will be that liaison um, between the community here in Cleveland with Akron and the visitors that are coming to this great city. Um, whenever we have site inspections of regular customers or leisure travelers coming to the city, they don't know quite what to expect, but once they get here, they are thoroughly wowed. What was the word you used during amazing. the press? Amazing. <laughs> so we're ready to show everyone a really amazing time. Um, my games rock, what a great tagline. Uh, and you will see how much Cleveland's gonna rock up until 2014. Um, there's gonna be a lot of activity coming into Cleveland and beyond, so thank you very much. Um, I'm going to ask a few questions to the panel and then we want to open it up to our wonderful audience. Um, Douglas Anderson, uh, just a question for you. The presentation in Cologne had uh, support from all corners. Governor Strickland, uh, who's represented today by Ann Hill, was one of the lead uh, panels in the film. We heard from Mayor Jackson, Valerie McCall's here, uh, Mayor Pasquelic. Uh, we had letters of support from our members of Congress. Uh, we know Senator Sherrod Brown was hugely supportive. Those are all wonderful. Um, but now that it's coming to Ohio, what will this impact be? We know what it's going to do financially. What will it do for culture and what will it do for equality? Well, that's the measurement of a community by collaborating together. I have to sit back for a second and I really need to acknowledge some things. Meeting Mayor Don Pasqualic and his commitment to this effort was tremendous. Meeting Valerie McCall and Kevin Schmatzer and the mayor Frank G. Jackson, who made a commitment, which we initially thought was a commitment, but through Val Valerie's insight, for the first time, the city of Cleveland passed an ordinance granting $700,000 in cash to the Cleveland Synergy Foundation through the Greater Cleveland Sports Commission to bring this initiative here. Because they saw the vision for the long-term goal. Um, there are many elements that will happen before that period of time that will lead up to it. Um, we will be having um, an annual sports festival, which happens in April of every year, which has been continuing for the last three years. That grants us the opportunity to market, of course, the games in 2010 as well as 2014. In addition to that, we have five signature events. One you heard Michael talk about, that's frivolity. You have to try to imagine that when we put this together at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame to have 7,000 people there. It was phenomenal. Um, and it was all from our community. So if you, if you then put frivolity in, a, in picture for the next five years, you also put in, into perspective rock, paper, scissors, the pink elephant, lights, camera, auction, the, the Synergy Sports Festival, and Ravel. Those are all the fundraising, marketing, artistic, and cultural elements that we're going to provide for the opportunities for people here in Cleveland to have exposure. Um, because this is an, a bottom line measurement for us again. This is about economic benefit for everybody. 
This is not a political stance. This is about making sure that all of you have jobs, that the hotels are all filled, and that people come to Cleveland will tell their friends and their associates, I want to go to Cleveland for vacation, because that's what happened to us during the site inspection visit. One of the site inspectors came to Cleveland and simply said that she needs to bring her significant other here. The other site inspector has decided to buy a house here. <laughs> That's what's happening in the measurement about people coming to Cleveland. It just takes a connective tissue of people like this working together to send the message out to everybody that Cleveland is a great, great, great place to live. It's affordable, it's accessible, but most of all, and this is a distinguishing factor for all of us, when we were in Cologne, we were asked, why do we always hug each other? <laughs> we were drunk. Yeah. <laughs> we, I, well, a few people were, okay. So uh, I said to myself, um, without trying to be too serious, because this is, as I said, I'm the passionate one. The reason why we do is because that's who we are. We're Midwesterners, you know, and we, that, that, symbiotic relationship we have with each other is contagious. And that began to filter to the Federation, to our brothers and sisters in Cologne, uh, to our brothers and sisters in Washington, D.C. and Boston who aren't too happy right now, but they will eventually be happy because we'll integrate them again. But anyways, um, I want to leave you with one thing. Try to imagine you're the underdog going into a large group with 50, 20 people here, 20 people here, 20 people here, and 85, 90 delegates behind you. And you've just done this formal presentation, you've done this panel discussion uh, with Brian and Valerie were incredible through Michael's coaching. And we're all sitting there holding each other's hands and he walks up to the stage to make the announcement. Her fingernails are bed embedded in my hands. <laughs> And I'm going, okay, I'm going to throw up for sure, right? <laughs> right? And very quickly, and we thought there'd be some time element, and they would say, the 2014 Gay Games host is, a little bit of silence, no. He went, the 2014 Gay Games host is Cleveland. <laughs> so we all just got jumped up and screamed, and Michael Reniger hit Holly in the nose, and then started bleeding. <laughs> Kevin Smotzer and Dirk Brighting had a nervous breakdown, like their dog had died. <laughs> Yeah, and so it was hellacious, but it was representative of all of you. Because we took parts of all of you with us in Cologne. I think my mic is on. Good? Okay. So I hope I answered that question. Thank for you. you. <laughs> um, and again, that was Doug Anderson, the passionate one. Yeah. Okay. Um, Michael Murphy. Um, you've been involved with this uh, from the beginning in terms of setting the stage and, and making things happen in the right ways. Uh, it's been pretty extraordinary to watch the presentation. It was very well developed. But it's only 236 weeks away. <laughs> <laughs> what happens between now and 2014? How does Cleveland get ready to be a host of really an international event? I, I think it honestly starts with our focus, not on ourselves, but as I said, on Cologne. I mean, we're working since we found out that Cleveland won, we shifted our focus and made sure that Cologne is as successful as it can be. So FH, as part of this effort, will put our media machine behind Cologne and get their story out to the Midwest, to the US. Um, but beyond that, we're really going to go on a, a traveling road show, if you will, and, and take our story to the LGBT community, to the sporting organizations, to the cultural organizations all around the country and, and frankly, all around the world with our sister cities that we have here with Cleveland and Akron um, to make sure that they understand that why Cleveland, why Akron question that they answer, well, why not Cleveland? Well, why not Akron? And get them to just commit and register as soon as possible. Uh, to come to the Gay Games in 2014. And I think beyond that, uh, what we can do is continue to recognize that the change is happening here in Ohio. The change when it comes to equality. That it started in December with the passage of the Domestic Partnership Registry, which was amazing. 